Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to add and delete email route points in Avaya Aura Contact Center or AACC. First, I'll cover some details and then I'll demo how to add and delete an email route point. A route point is a logical address that enables incoming contacts to be provided treatment by AACC. It is similar to a vector directory number or VDN on Communication Manager. The route point is used by AACC as a place to accept incoming email contacts or a point where email contacts can be routed during processing steps. Also, you must be logged in as an administrator to the Contact Center Manager Administration or CCMA Launchpad to configure route points in AACC. Now I will start the demo. For this demo, I am using a Lab AACC system. I am logged into the Contact Center Manager Launchpad with an administrator account. First, you need to click Configuration on the right side of the page. The configuration page will display. In the left pane, click the plus sign next to the CCMS server name to expand the list. For this AACC system, the CCMS server is AACC 7 CoRes. From the expanded list, click on the folder labeled CDN's Route Points. Now click on the Open Queue tab. Email route points are configured in the Open Queue tab. Also, the route points for other non-voice contact types like web chat or outbound are also configured under the Open Queue tab. These other contact types would be configured similar to how an email route point is done. This system already has several open queue route points configured as shown by the list. It is optional, but the best practice is to include the contact type in the name for the route point. For example, in this list, the route points used for email contacts start with capital EM underscore. The one starting with OB underscore is for outbound contacts. WC underscore is used for web chat contacts. If you follow a similar convention when naming your route points, it will be easier to tell which route points are for different contact types. Now I will demonstrate how to add another email route point. I will call it em underscore test. First, click in the name field on the empty bottom row next to the asterisk. Type the new route point name. I'll use em underscore test. This name can be up to 30 characters. You'll notice when I started typing, the symbol next to this row changed to a pencil, indicating that I am editing this row. Also, a new empty row with the asterisk symbol appeared below the row I am editing. Now you can either hit the tab key to move to the call type field, or you can click the cursor in that field. I will hit tab. A drop-down arrow appears in that field. 
click on that arrow and select Open Queue Local from the list. Next, click the checkbox under the Acquired column. A route point must be acquired before contacts can be routed to it. If a route point is not acquired, it is in essence disabled. Now I want to direct your attention to an information message at the bottom of the page. The first line says updates are applied when you click on the next row in the grid. So you must click on the name field in the row below the one you are editing for the change to take effect. There is not a save or add button on this page. So now I'll click in the row below the one I am editing to save the EM test route point changes. The screen refreshed and the EM test row shows status acquired. Also, the information message at the bottom of the page shows EM underscore test updated successfully. So this route point is now configured and in the acquired state so that it can be used. You can also click on the refresh status button in the upper right to refresh this page at any time to update the statuses. Now I'll demonstrate how to delete the route point I just configured. First, click the Acquired checkbox to remove the check. A route point must be deacquired to be deleted. Again, it is important to click on the row below the one I'm editing in order for the update to take place. Once I clicked on the empty row, the screen refreshed and the status changed to Not Acquired. Now click the box to the left of the route point name that you want to remove to select that row. An arrow shows up in that box to indicate that the row is selected. Now hit the Delete key. A confirmation window displays asking if you are sure you want to delete this route point. Click Yes to delete or No to abort. I will click Yes. The screen refreshed and the EM test route point has been removed from the list. Also, the information message at the bottom of the page states that the route point was deleted successfully. If you had tried to remove a route point that was still acquired, the delete would fail. An information message would have displayed at the bottom of the page telling you that the route point must first be deacquired before being deleted. This concludes the video on adding and deleting an email route point in AACC. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.